Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carolyn Ann and my channel is a lifestyle channel where you will follow us on our journey to becoming debt free as well as financially stable. In today's video, we will be going over last week's budget as well as this week's budget. If you are interested in this type of video, please stay tuned. But first, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hey fam, welcome to the team. And to all my old subscribers, hey fam, welcome back. So I am trying to do this video by daylight. It is supposed to rain. So hopefully I can get done with it before it starts to rain and get cloudy. I did go get my nails done. And the lighter color is like, it's supposed to be a rose gold but it's a mood color it's a darker color when it's warm and a lighter color when it's cold and the other color is purple and also i'm drinking my lemon and honey coffee this morning believe it or not it really tastes good with the lemon and the honey in it and it's supposed to be good for weight loss so let's get started and let's see how we did last week in our budget from September the 16th through the 22nd, in the expense category, we budgeted $369.89 for our car payment, $175.66 for our car insurance, $138.68 for our chiropractor, $48.49 for our home alarm, $21.79 for Netflix, and $16.19 for Amazon Prime. That came up to a total of $770.65. In our actual category, we spent $369.89 on our car payment, $153.79 on our car insurance, which was a difference of $21.87, $138.63 on our chiropractor, $48.49 on our home alarm, $21.79 on Netflix, and $16.19 on Amazon Prime. That came up to a total of $748.78, which was a difference of $21.87. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted $85 for groceries, $80 for gas, $80 for eating out, $80 for lunch, $40 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to $405. In our actual category, we spent $85 in groceries, $80 in gas, $33 in eating out, which was a difference of $47, $65 in lunch, which was a difference of $15, $40 in personal, nothing in miscellaneous, which was a difference of $20, and nothing in household, which was a difference of $20. That came up to $303, which was a difference of $102. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $120, and in our savings, we budgeted $100. That came up to $220, and in our actual category, that is exactly what we spent. In our income versus our expenses, we estimate our income to be $1,452.92 minus the expenses of $770.65 minus the cash envelopes of $405 minus the sinking funds of $120 and minus the savings funds of $120. That left a balance of $57.27. In our actual category, our income was $1,452.92, minus the expenses of $748.78, which was a difference of $21.87, minus the cash envelopes of $303, which was a difference of $102, minus the sinking funds of $120, and minus the savings of $120. That left a balance of $181.14, which was a difference of $123.87. For our budget for September the 23rd through the 29th, in the expense category, we budgeted $383.27 for the phone bill, $100 for IRS, $140 for a hospital bill that we have, and $1.99 for Google Storage. That came up to a total of $625.26. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted 85 for groceries, 80 for gas, 80 for eating out, 80 for lunch, 40 for personal, 20 for miscellaneous, and 20 for household. That came up to $405. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $120. In our savings funds, we budgeted $100, which came up to a total of $220. In our income versus our expenses, we estimate our income to be $1,250.26 minus the expenses of $625.26 minus the cash envelopes of $405 minus the sinking fund of $120 and minus the savings fund of $100. That left a balance of zero. 
So fam, as I stated before, our car insurance will be changing. And that is because we went with the same company that we have our homeowners insurance with. So we got the bundle and we got some discounts on our homeowners as well as our car insurance. So that's why there's a difference in our car insurance. This week, and not last week, but the week before, we had no income. So that is coming out of our rollover and some of our envelopes. And that will be until my husband's unemployment come in. And I will tell you why that is, why he has not filed for his unemployment. It has something to do with refinancing house. But I will tell you all that in another sit down video. I am currently editing the sit down video that we did so that I can get that up. So that video should go up before this one. Actually, that video is going to go up before any of my September budgets go up. But if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and it would help my channel. And if you have stuck around this long, please consider subscribing to my channel and joining our family. We would love to have you. But that is all for this video, fam. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye, fam.